going on guys? This is Raycommend and today we're going to be doing something a little different than my normal videos. Is This is not a review or really showing off anything that's a professional product, but it's something that I created just because I want to have some fun. So to clarify, a couple of days ago I was going through a bunch of my old stuff and I came across this here, which is a light scribe uh, DVD drive and actually which actually burns light scribe uh, CDs and DVDs by itself you know I've run across it a couple of times it's an external USB drive and you, you know it's I don't really have too much of uh, physical media anymore that I would use with this I don't really listen to regular audio CDs or watch DVDs anymore most of the stuff I do streaming but what makes things a little more interesting for me was that I actually came across a few of these. Now, these are Lightscribe Media, actually CDs. And this is probably the most scratched up one that I have just sitting around. But I found a few of these. And if you're not aware of Lightscribe, they're basically printable CDs before what we have now. Um, so nowadays you get a printable CD and you can print on them like kind of like paper. These you kind of, it kind of used a laser to etch out a picture on this uh, specially made surface. So you put you put this upside down, and it's basically you burn the image onto the top side of the disc, and then you will burn whatever data you want to the bottom of the disc. These aren't made anymore. They were made by HP a couple of years ago, and they were pretty much phased out. So these are pretty expensive now. You can go on eBay, and they're like. The lowest you can find is maybe like two dollars and a little bit higher a disc sometimes far more than that so you don't really see these too often anymore and then most people don't even have working drives or anything anymore but they're really cool and when i saw this it just really made me want to find something to mess with so what i wanted to do actually was take those uh, discs and burn games in particular and particularly stuff that didn't really come out for consoles. So for example, for the Neo Geo, you have Metal Slug 2 Turbo, which is really just normal Metal Slug 2, but it just has some fixes applied, which allow for you to play the game with a lot less slowdown. And it makes the game far more playable than what you get with the standard Metal, uh, Metal Slug 2. So before I get to that, the first thing that I did was there was never officially a physical release for the Dreamcast version of Volgar the Viking here. They may, there is one that came out recently, but these awesome developers have also put out a free ISO of their version of Volgar the Viking for the Dreamcast. So the first thing that I did was I grabbed the art and I burned the Lightscribe disc with the Volgar the Viking art and I think it looks pretty awesome. So, you know, you burn it again on this side and then you burn it on the back as, no as you normally do. I personally prefer to use image burn on PC or liquid CD on a Mac and you burn the image and you know, you it works if you do it correctly, if everything works out fine, it's bootable on a non-modded system, which is awesome. So you basically have almost a stock retail disc. So I burned Volgar the Viking. So now I have a really nice looking burned game that looks you know really close to professional on and that works on an actual console without needing to mod it i'm still working the kinks out i did pick up some kind of a cd labeling kit i'm not particularly happy with this uh, version of it because it uses a matte paper and i think it just looks cheesy it looks okay on camera i mean i'm still working out the kinks on it let me see if i can get that focus in for you guys there you go and this is a pre-made uh, cover that I found back cover and front cover that I found for Volgar the Viking Which looks pretty good, but I think I would prefer to redo this on my own and so I can make a much sharper much better looking Downloadable package for anybody that wants to make a copy of their own or their own copy But I think it looks pretty decent for now. It'll do until I get a, a better quality uh, glossy paper to make the cover, but I really like generally how it comes out, but you know, this is just, just messing around for the Dreamcast. Now, really my first burn was 
Polestar for the Neo Geo CD. Polestar is a pretty pricey game. Unfortunately, you know, this is not, this is something that's pretty, you know, pretty, not, not exactly uh, readily available. You go on eBay, they have crazy prices for it. But generally, like I said, I'm not doing stuff like this because I want to really do games that you really can't find. So this is just a normal retail release. I just wanted to mess with it, see how it looks. And I think it looks pretty nice. It's not as dark as a real CD, but I, I like the way it looks. What I wanted to do again was the Metal Slug 2 Turbo because I wanted it to look official and as nice as possible. So my first draft for a cover looked like this. So you can see there's a spelling error, it says Metal Sluggy 2 Turbo Action Shotting Game. So I guess, you know, depending on your view, maybe it's more accurate with Japanese English. But you know, this is the first draft of my cover for it. And generally I was okay with it, you know, I went to sleep after I made it, I made it really late at night. It has a little, had a little fun with it, let me see if I can get you guys a better view. Okay, but that's that was pretty much it. Now, I went back to the drawing board, and I really wanted something that looked a lot more legit. So, the first thing I did was burn the actual disc, so I designed a light scribe template and this is what I came up with and I really like the way this came out to me this looks really cool and I'm really loving the way this this looks and I know the printable CDs you can do color and stuff but a lot of times at least the CDs that I grew up with were you know they, they looked like this they weren't really colored they were just kind of you know an, over, an overlay on top of the CD itself and you know black and white or whatever color the the surface of the CD was and I think it looks really cool I, I really love the way it looks you know so you got the turbo label there metal slug you know I got the SNK logo along with the Neo Geo CD and again I'm really happy with the way this turned out so I burnt I, I did this first I designed this and then I burned it and I, and I love this so much and it actually works perfect on my Neo Geo CD it actually reads and runs better than some of my real discs which is kind of funny but then I wanted to really go all the way and make an actual CD cover and jewel case for it. So, my, you know, you saw my first draft, which for those of you with short memories, was this. You know, I went ahead, I went back to the drawing board, and I tweaked it quite a bit, and used photo paper, and this is what we came up with. And I really like the way this turned out. I think this looks pretty damn close to official. You know, the, with the paper quality, it looks really nice. You know, the, the spelling mistakes are gone. You know, I try to get it as close as possible. Now, if you're curious, here's what an original CD looks like. And you can see there, you know, I got the font pretty close or pretty much correct. You know, I got, I got it as close as I could. You know, considering that I, you know, just went mostly by sight. So we got the font and everything, side. And this is from scratch. Nobody made a template. This is my own. So... That's my that's that's the way it looks in the front. Here is the side, which I'm really happy with. And again, here for reference, here's a original. So it's not exact, but it's pretty damn close. You know, even official discs don't look exactly the same. They they all have a general design philosophy, and I think I follow that pretty well. And here is the back. Now. Again, this is done from scratch. And what I did was, I looked up the original uh, Metal Slug 2 CD online, and I didn't copy it or anything, but I just, like I went with the original design idea, philosophy of the original. So it's, it's kind of similar to it, but complete, with completely different artwork. But it's just familiar enough for anybody who has the original to see uh, the similarities of it like the characters or all four characters on the original I use the same wording you know the same sentencing and everything the same barcode you know everything else the sides look the same but I really I'm really happy with how this came out I'm really pleased with everything so I just kind of want to share that with you guys hopefully you like it I know <laughs> some people have asked me if I'm selling these uh, I don't know yet <laughs> to be honest with you because I would have to buy a bunch of live scribe discs and burn them and you know, as nice as 
you know, I'm happy as I am with, with the cover and everything. I would need to design a whole booklet. This is right here, a, a Dreamcast manual that I put behind it just to give it that more official look. I would have to, you know, get a copy of the entire manual and basically redo it from scratch. And I've never created a whole manual, so I don't know how that would go. So if I did do these, it would have to be the light scribe disc and just the front and, and back uh, covers. But generally, I think these look really good. And again, here's another original, here's Top Hunter. And again, you know, I think, I think it looks pretty damn good. I'm really happy with these. So if I put these all together, you know, it, it fits right in. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. But again, you know, if you stayed this far, you know, I'm really happy that you, you know, hopefully you enjoyed this. And, you know, it's this is just a little, you know, a little fun video just to show that I had a lot of fun with this life scribe disc. I spent two days <laughs> creating this just because that, I don't know, I just, I really got the bug in me that I wanted to make a really official looking, you know, you know Neo Geo CD and Vogue Art Viking uh, for the Dreamcast. So I really hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more, con uh, more content like this, let me know. And of course, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you like this. And, you know, shoot me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this. All right. My, again, my name is Ray Command. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.